Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. better if they grazed on the north pasture? The grass seems better there. You just take care of your brother's books, Ashford. I'll take care of his animals. Mm. So, hey, what's that cow and her calf doing straight up here? Well, I can't figure it. Must be a break in the fence, Summers. Hey, that's the best looking bull calf I've seen all year. Look how square he is in that chest. Shame to put your brother's brand on him. I think we'll take him for ourselves. No, Wagner. He ought to grow into a real good breeding bull. But how many do you think we can take before my brother starts wondering? All your brother knows, he gets from examining the books. And since you're keeping the books... No trouble to uh, sling him up with me. We'll take him. Wagner. This cow isn't one of the crown herd. Look at the brand. Ah, so that's our cow. Wanna look at some McCain's? Well, I still figure it out. No, Wagner. Taking my brother's stock is one thing, but this is another matter entirely. My family name is at stake. I'll have nothing to do with it. That's how much your family name counts with me. Now. We'll take that calf up to Cottonwood Ravine and put a brand on it. Yours and mine. Let's go. Take a look, son. Looks pretty sad, Paul. You know what's wrong with her? What are you looking for? Calf, you not remember your lessons. Take a close look at her. Let's see now. Cow that's just calved. <laughs> Paul, she calved not so long ago. Well, not more than two weeks ago. And it's a youngster she's calling for. Then where is it? I don't know, but a calf that young wouldn't wander away from his mother on his own. Mount up, son. We'll see if we can pick up some tracks. These tracks are headed south toward Cottonwood Ravine. Let's go. Well, not so fast, son. We might be jumping to the wrong conclusion. Let's take a ride over to the Crown Ranch. I hear the young Englishman who runs the place is a fair sort. Let's hope he can give us a fair explanation. Let's go. Help you? 
just want to see the boss? <laughs> well, you're going to have to travel and swim some if you want to see Lord Ashford. See, he don't mind owning a ranch as long as he can do it from England. Well, I wasn't talking about the owner. Oh, well, uh, Foreman's out in the north section. North Wagner. I understand there's a young Ashford who runs this place for his brother. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say he runs it. He just keeps books and pays the help. What's on your mind? Well, now, if it's business, you don't want to bother young Ashford. I'm second to Wagner here. I'll talk to Ashford. Well, he's not in just now. You're welcome to go in and wait. He's around here someplace. I'll see if I can't look him up for you, Mr. McCain. Well, you know who I am. Yeah. Exactly what are they teaching you in school these days? Three R's. I know that. What else? Well, they're teaching us a little on doctoring animals, like how to care for pink eye and such. But you taught me all about that. Don't they give you any learning in history? Oh, yeah, American. Did you know that less than 50 years ago, the top price for beef was penny and five? I don't see how a man could afford to feed his stock at that price. Use this to kill their cattle with? No, son. Long ago in England, soldiers used that to break through their enemy's armor. Armor? Hmm. Soldiers use it for protection. Could never stop a Winchester. Mark, the range isn't the whole world. There's England, dukes and lords with families that go back to the time of swords and armor. You know, many of our biggest ranches are owned by lords and such who live in England. When they come visiting, they like to have the feel of home around them. That's why all these souvenirs of their own country. Mr. Ashford, lord and such? No, he's Lord Ashford's brother. Under the range rules in England, the young son doesn't get the title. He's got to work for a living. Like one of us. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. But wouldn't he save what he wanted? He didn't want me or Wagner. I told Wagner not to take that calf. I told him it was a mistake. Well, it's done. Now, McCain's waiting in there to talk to somebody. Now, what are you going to do about it? Why should I do anything? It's Wagner who should face him, not I. Well, I think you better. At least till I can get Wagner. Where is he? Out in the north section. I'll go tell him while you're talking to McCain. All right. But no violence. No guns, do you understand? No guns. Sure, sure, Mr. Ashford. What do they use this for? No, oh, that's a battle axe, son. Not having guns in those days, they... Well, I guess they used that to hit the enemy in the head with. Mr. McCain? That's right, Mr. Ashford. This is my boy, Mark. How do you do? Hi. Well, Mr. McCain, I understand you've come here to see me. Yes, I have, Mr. Ashford. I guess you know I've got some stock grazing in Pine Valley. I've got reason to believe one of my calves was carried out of there the last couple of days. Carried? Rustled? Why, that's nonsense. Well, I hope so, as far as you're concerned. On the other hand, there's been a lot of talk about your foreman, Wagner. Oh? I understand he's got a sizable herd under his own brand down in Cottonwood Ravine. Yes, I know all about it. Well, the talk is the herd has multiplied a little too fast. A herd of 1,500 cattle built up by stealing a calf here and there, and now yours? <laughs> Come now, Mr. McCain. Well, I don't know why anyone would take just one calf. But a hundred head or one, especially when it's mine, is rustling. Preposterous. <laughs> Mark, you should be more careful, son. No harm done. All right, let's pick it up. Mr. Ashford, I came here to ask your help in checking up on Wagner. Why this American obsession for rustling? And what makes you think that Wagner's a rustler? I know Wagner. He's on my payroll. I know everything he does, and when and where he goes. All right, then. Was he in Pine Valley during the last two days? I'll not be badgered, Mr. McCain. Nor will I submit to a cross-examination concerning my movements or Wagner's. Come on, Mark. How'd you figure different, Mr. Ashford?
sorry after this one. No, nah, that's the last one. All right, let's get on it. Then we can call it a day. What's Parker doing coming out here? What's the matter, Parker? Looks like we might be having a little trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? You've got company coming just behind me. Who? Lucas McCain and his boy. Won't do him no good. That cab of his wearing our brand now, just one of the herd. McCain's welcome to look all he's a mind to. Now, you don't want to take him too easy. Now, he's no Ashford. Yeah, I heard about that rifle of his. All right. Let's see what he figures to do about it. Stay in a saddle, son. My name is Wagoner. Something I can do for you? I figured you'd be expecting me. No. A calf of mine was taken from its cow over in Pine Valley. That's so. Branded calf? No, but I think I can find it. How do you figure to pick yours out of the others on this range? Well, I don't figure to find it on the range. Oh, on the ranch? No. Out here? Cottonwood Ravine, maybe, with your herd. You ain't dressed to fit your talk, McCain. Well, I'll be in Cottonwood Ravine tomorrow morning. Dressed. McCain! If I catch you with any of my brand, I'll gun you down the same as I would any other rustler. Rustler? Folks around here figure that name fits you better than me. <laughs> Wagner, I've told you I'll not tolerate violence. Well, judging from the way McCain took it, I don't think he wants any either. That's right. I figure McCain's willing to forget about it. And if he isn't? Ain't no way in the world he can pick his calf out of our herd. If he tries, we'll stop him. We've got no choice, have we? But like I said, I figure he's willing to forget it. I hope so. Come on, let's hit the check wagon. I hoped you'd yank that whip right out of his hand. Mark, is there a time for fighting and a time for backing away? I think this was a backing away time. We get our calf. Tomorrow morning. Come on. the south gate when you let that sorrow loose in the pasture, son. I will, Paul. Paul, why do you suppose Mr. Ashford has a man like Wagner working for him? Well, it looks to me like young Ashford doesn't have much to say in the matter. After all, it's his brother's ranch, not his. You have to go, Paul? Well, after all, it was only one little cow. Well, that isn't the point, Mark. It doesn't matter whether it's one calf or a dozen. There's a principle involved. I see, Paul. 
Can I come along? All right, Mark. You can turn out that horse when we get back. Here's a place for you to wait, son. The ravine's just below. Can I come along, Paul? Yeah, you best not, son. But don't worry, I don't figure in any trouble. Not if young Ashford has any say in the matter. So you just wait here and keep out of sight, right? Yes, Paul. Think she'll prove it for us? I think so. His rifle's got the range on it from this distance. Now I'm going to let him take the care. Then when Ashford shows up, he'll be satisfied and McCain forced her hand. Now, when are you going to stop worrying about satisfying Ashford? These times come and do. What do you say, bossy? Either of these yours? Well, I guess we'd better keep looking. Let's move into range. How about this? McCann! Every calf in this ravine has my brand on it. I'll tell you again. You throw a rope on any one of them, we'll shoot you. Come on, bossy. Act an awful cool for a man with three guns on him. Maybe he ain't alone. Keep your eye on the trail. We'll watch McCain. Don't let him scare you. Here's a few more. Let's take a look. Where's your father? Down in the ravine. What's he doing there? I think you know, Mr. Ashford. He's acting ridiculous. There's no way of telling one calf from another in that herd. That's what you say. All right. Let's keep looking. Uh -huh. I was awfully interested in that white-faced calf. Not the one you took? Watch the trail. Looks like it to me. Oh, so that's the little fella, huh? Well, now, Mama, let's see if you can make him follow you back home before our friends shoot me. See anyone? Nobody. All right, get ready. Looks like your cow made a friend, McCain. What the friend looks like? You see my brand on it? Yeah, kind of fresh. Come on, throw a rope on him. You're wasting our time. Now, Mr. Wagner, you got me all wrong. I don't plan on touching that calf. Let's take him.
Mark. Get back, Mark. Well, McCain's kid. He's got a gun. Mark, I told you to get back. Here's your gun. Get him. I guess you saw a part of what happened here. I sure did. Well, then I hope I can make you understand. Look, son, as long as you remember those men lying there, I want you to remember that I didn't want this to happen. You know what I've told you about a rifle? It's a weapon only as a last resort. This was a last resort, Mark. I wish it hadn't come to that. I understand, Paul. Good boy. Now go get your calf. Oh, it is indeed. I'm truly sorry, Mr. McCain. I saw what you did. I want to thank you. As for them, you're not responsible for Wagner. But I'm afraid I am. Except that I told him I wanted no violence. You were in this with Wagner? I'll see to it that the cattle get back where they belong. Ashford, did you ever hear the Homestead Act? 640 acres, yours for using it and working it. It could be the beginner of a ranch you could call your own. I'm not an American citizen. It's a great land. Everybody's welcome. Something to think about. Son, come on, let's go home. Come on, Bossy, take that cow home. <laughs> you too. 